Hello and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop hosted by Medals of America, which supplies all of the medals, the ribbons and badges and display cases you'll see, and Medals of America Press, which supplies all of the information from one of our many books like Military Medals of America. I'm Frank Foster, your host, and today I'm very pleased to talk to you about a unique medal, the Silver Star Medal, one of the three medals in America's Pyramid of Honor that can only be awarded only be awarded for gallantry in action or for valor. The only three medals, of course, are the Medals of Honor, which are the Army Medal of Honor, the Navy and Marine Corps Medal of Honor, which includes the Coast Guard, which comes underneath the Navy during wartime, and the Air Force Medal of Honor, and the Service Crosses, the Army Distinguished Service Cross, the Navy and Marine Corps Cross, the Air Force Cross, which is very rare, only first being awarded, uh, well, the Cuban Missile Crisis, and then the brand new Coast Guard Cross, which I don't believe has ever been awarded. Then there's the Silver Star Medal. And the Silver Star Medal started out as an Army-only medal, and it actually started out in 1918, World War I, when President Woodrow Wilson authorized a 3 Silver Citation Star to go on the World War I Victory Medal for any soldier who had been cited for gallantry in action. Uh, Marines who served with the Army's 2nd Infantry Division could also be awarded a Citation Star, and just, you know, so the Marines don't get upset. It was not a popular award. The troops were not happy to be given a cheap little 3 Silver Star to go on their ribbon, which no one would notice. It's a big deal to be cited for gallantry in action, especially in World War I in the trenches. So by 1932, the Army decided to fix that, and that's when they created the Silver Star Medal as we know it today. But they used that 3 Silver Star to go in the center of the Silver Star Medal. So that's why you have a gold star with a very small silver star in the very center of it. In 1942, the president authorized the award of a Silver Star Medal to members of the Navy, Marine Corps. Of course, the Army Air Force came underneath the Army, and as I mentioned before, the Coast Guard served under the Navy during World War II. An interesting sidebar, and this is, you know, depending on how they wrote the regulation, in 1918, they said the Citation Star could also be authorized on any service medal when a soldier had been cited for gallantry in action going all the way back to the Civil War. So the Civil War Medal could have a citation star if the individual soldier was cited in dispatches. The Spanish-American War awards, awards for service in the Philippines or during the Philippine insurrection or during the China relief or, well, in Haiti, Cuba, Honduras, Nicaragua, any of those medals, including down on the Mexican border during the 1916 Mexican border war, if an individual soldier had been cited for gallantry, he could get a citation star, which in 1932, if many of them were left alive, they could put in an application and receive a Silver Star Medal, and actually a few did. But let's take a look at the Silver Star Medal in detail. I've got a couple of things I want to show you specifically about it. Okay, let's go. In the United States Military Pyramid of Honor, the Silver Star is one of the big three of the medals awarded for valor. In fact, the Medal of Honor is so rarely awarded, it is almost always presented by the President of the United States. I do need to mention that in the order of precedent, there are a couple of distinguished service medals between the service crosses and the Silver Star, but those service medals are awarded only for meritorious service, and generally only to general officers. The Silver Star ranks ahead of the Legion of Merit, the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Bronze Star, the Purple Heart, and the Air Medal is shown here. The Silver Star is awarded for gallantry in action against an enemy of the United States while engaged in military operations. The medal is a five-pointed star finished in gilt bronze, and the center of the star is a 3 inch silver five-pointed star with a wreath of laurel representing the silver citation star prescribed by the original legislation that I told you about. The rays of both stars are aligned, and the top of the metal has a rectangular loop shape for the suspension ribbon. 
The laurel wreath signifies achievement, and the larger gilt bronze star represents military service. The reverse contains the inscription for gallantry in action with a space to engrave the name of the recipient. The ribbon, based on the colors of the national flag, has a center stripe of red flanked by stripes of white, which are flanked by blue bands with borders of white edged in blue. Additional awards are denoted by a bronze or silver oak leaf cluster for the Army and the Air Force or gold and silver stars for the Navy and Marine Corps. What I'd like to do here is show you a couple of World War II uh, presentation boxes that the Silver Star Medal came in. Uh, these are showing a little wear because, well, they're over 70 years old. But the Silver Star Medal came, nice presentation box, and it came with a lapel pin, a ribbon, and a Silver Star Medal. And what was very interesting about the very earliest ones, and I don't know if you can see this, but they had a serial number on them. And I'll try and show you a better picture of that in a moment. Another thing is, it was such a prestigious award that it also came often with a note, in this case, a note signed by the Secretary of the Army to show the appreciation of the United States Army and what a prestigious award this is. As I mentioned earlier, the first of the Silver Star medals were numbered, as shown here on the arm of the uh, star. And you can see that they go up to five digits initially, but the numbering of the medals ended in World War II as an economy measure. As we said, even though the Silver Star can be retroactively awarded back to World War I and even earlier, it really became the go-to award for gallantry in World War II. And here is an example of Lieutenant Colonel Walter Holmes wearing the Silver Star, the DFC, the Purple Heart, the Air Medal, and Great Britain's DFC in about 1945. A more recent award of the Silver Star Medal was to Sergeant First Class Earl D. Plum League, assigned to the First Special Forces Group Airborne, and is shown here being presented the Silver Star Medal by Major General Kenneth Dahl. Sergeant First Class Plumley was awarded the Silver Star for Gallantry in Afghanistan during August of 2013. Here, Staff Sergeant Timothy Williams, a section leader with the 1st Reconnaissance Battalion, receives the Silver Star Medal and the Purple Heart. He was recognized for his heroic action in Afghanistan while being ambushed by a larger enemy force. Williams helped save the lives of multiple Marines and destroyed several enemy positions. Here, United States Air Force Major General Frank Padella pins a silver star on Staff Sergeant Zachary Klein of the 306 Rescue Squadron. The pararescue man earned the medal while serving in Afghanistan in 2011. The silver star medal comes with a handsome certificate, usually signed by the Chief of Staff of that service, in this case the Air Force, and the Secretary of Defense. <laughs> Time out. Just a second, if you're enjoying this video on the Silver Star Medal, please give us a like or even better subscribe. Okay, let's get back to the action. The Silver Star Medal comes in a number of different configurations. The first is mentioned, the standard issue, then it can be anodized or gold-plated. It has a regulation ribbon bar, an enamel lapel pin, miniature medals in either bronze or gold-plated, uh, unofficial mini ribbons, and enamel hat pins for veterans to wear. Here's a handsome example of a Silver Star miniature medal worn in a set earned by a Marine non-commissioned officer for service during the Vietnam War. We always like to show a couple of examples of how veterans display their awards. In this case, a Silver Star that was earned by a World War II infantryman. Not only does he have a Silver Star, but the Bronze Star, the Purple Heart, the Good Conduct Medal, and if you look closely at his European African Middle East campaign, you'll see an invasion arrowhead, as well as his victory medal. This Marine veteran proudly displays his silver star and his bronze star with the V device, along with two awards of the Purple Heart. But what is really amazing is that it shows his service in both World War II, the Korean conflict, and Vietnam. You have got to be impressed with this row of medals. This World War II veteran of the 78th Infantry Division proudly displays his Silver Star Combat Medical Badge and his Bronze Star along with Purple Heart. 
And you've got to get a little smile on your face when you see he's also included his notched dog tag. You've got to admire this Marine non-commissioned officer who wanted to make sure you knew all of the units he served in, and he proudly shows his Silver Star and his other award of the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. But what's very interesting is he served both in Vietnam, and it was obviously called up for Desert Storm because you can see his Armed Forces Mobilization M on his Armed Forces Medal. Here's an extraordinary set of a World War II Marine Veterans Medals mounted for wear, and you can clearly see how distinctive the Silver Star is, even when it lays beside the Navy Cross and ahead of the Legion of Merit. Thank you for joining us today for our show on the Silver Star Medal. I hope you now appreciate the prestige and the honor that a recipient of the Silver Star Medal has earned. And if you enjoyed the show, give us a like, even better, subscribe, and hope to see you here on the next edition of Veterans Medals Workshop. All of the information and illustrations today came from one of our books available on Amazon or on Medals of America Press website where you can actually thumb through them. We also have a unique series on how to wear your ribbons and your medals also available on Amazon and on the Medals of America Press website.